Open back gaming headphones? Oh, you know I had to see what's good. What's good with it? Welcome back to Bang. Budget and new gear reviews to help you get the best bang for your tech dollars, man. We are in the building. It's your Ken Folk Dookie, man. I hope y'all are having a good time. Hopefully, this rain and thunderstorm outside don't disturb us because I got to talk to y'all. Can I do that? Now, today we're taking a look at two pair of gaming headphones from Cost. Honestly, I really didn't have that much interest in checking these out because I don't game with gaming headphones. I tell y'all most of the time, I don't even be listening to the audio from the game, but every now and then I want to dial in, get focused, want to party up with my teammates when I'm running in Division 2, and a good pair of gaming headphones that sound good can really help with that. And that's one of the main reasons I wanted to check these out today, that legendary cost sound what we have for you is the usb versions of the gmr 540 iso and the gmr 545 air these are lightweight over-ear headphones with 40 millimeter drivers and two detachable cord options one is a standard 3.5 millimeter cord with the inline mic and the other is a usb cable with the boom microphone build wise they are nearly identical with the perforations on the open back pair being the only difference the outside case and top bands are all plastic with the inside sling headband having just enough cushion to make it comfortable for extended gaming sessions. The ear pads are your standard pleather affair with the D-shape to fit my tiny ears perfectly. Now if you got some big old flappy ears, this may be more of an on-ear design. Overall these are meant to be lightweight and comfy, but they do feel a bit cheap. You can stretch them a bit, but I wouldn't treat them too extreme. Now, before we go any further, I gotta address the cable situation. Now, I don't talk a lot in games, which probably pisses off the people that I play with. So I do appreciate that this comes with a 3.5 millimeter cable that I can plug into my audio interface or standard PlayStation controller. But I do wish there was an option to use the boom mic with the standard cable. The only option is on the USB cable that makes these act as their own sound device and windows. Luckily, you don't need any drivers, so it's plug and play, but having that versatility would really add to the value. If you want to know what the mic sounds like, check this out. Mic check, mic check. Now, if you're interested in how the microphone sounds, this is it with it about an inch away from my face. I'm recording directly in the audition. I will put down below if I do anything to boost the sound in post. Y'all let me know what y'all think about how the microphone sounds, and let's get back to this review. So, what about the sound? Because for me, no matter what it is, when it comes to headphones, it's always gonna be about the sound first. With the ISO, you get that intense, isolated gamer headphone experience where the outside world is cut off and all you hear are explosions and bullets whizzing by your head. Now I didn't notice a super exaggerated bass whether playing games or listening to music. The mids and highs here really shine with attention to detail in the mix taking a high priority. Also doing the back and forth sound test from my interface to the USB audio showed that the sound was uniform across both options. Switching to the open backs introduces that nice expansive sound that makes the game feel more wide and natural. It really helps give you the feeling of being inside that environment. But be careful if you're in an area where your sound can disturb others as there is the obvious sound leakage. So overall, when it comes to these gaming headphones from Koss, I gotta say, man, I'm really impressed with the sound. But I'm not that surprised because, like I said, that legendary Koss audio, that's what they do. They know how to get sound right. Now, when it comes to looks, it does look like a standard gaming headphone. And that cable, USB mic situation, they could have made that better, but overall, for a gaming headphone, it is what it is. Now, if I had to pick and choose, I definitely would go with the open back. I just enjoy an open back experience. These things are really nice and lightweight. So y'all know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave links down in the description. I'm gonna give a big shout out to the good folks over at Cost for sending these over for me to check these out. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and never forget to holla at your boy.